so I'm out here enjoying the various types of wood and I'm out here looking at where curly grain comes from. I love the way that the grain seems to move as you look from different angles. The first type of curly grain I'll tell you about is called compression grain. It's really easy to understand because as a piece of wood bends, hardens, the grain gets forced back and kind of squeezes together and that compresses it into little spring-like areas. Compression grain. And it makes a nice little curl. Usually when you find compression grain, you'll find just a portion of the piece of wood is covered by that compression grain. Right here is a spot of curly compression grain. You can see the individual waves as the wood grew and compressed. But we'll see some better stuff than that. So I think this is where we're getting ready to take you. I'm going to show you one of the best examples of natural curly grain that I've ever seen. If you take a look up here, you can see where some time ago a tree broke off. And right along here, you can see a wonderful example of compression curly grain. Look at the way that the grain is grown in a corkscrew almost like a curly hair on a person. You can see how that grain creates the curly grain that we've come to know and love. Here's what it looks like when we've, it's been cut across the grain, and here's what it looks like before it's made into any kind of an instrument. And if you look, you can see how as we change our angle, we're looking at different parts of the grain. And that's what seems to give the curly grain its incredible depth an ability to transform and move as we look at the different angles on the instrument. So, I don't know about you, but I've come to really and truly appreciate a piece of curly wood. And it doesn't hurt to know where it came from. Now, sometimes you'll see a piece of wood where the grain, the curly portion of the grain extends all the way through the wood. In my portion of the wood, that's not the case. Here you can see where the curl went, and then it fades out of the curl on both sides. And here we can see where it fades out of the curl. Um, if you're fortunate enough to find a log that's curly all the way through, it's usually not compression wood. It's usually some other type of wood, like uh, they call that genetic curl. And genetic curl extends all the way across. That's another story, and that's uh, definitely fascinating. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little nature walk. And I hope you have a better appreciation for curly lumber.